assalamu alaikum today we will learn how to make a ac fan dimmer circuit using proteus software uh, proteus software is used for making electronics or uh, simulations so here what we require the components first we will see them first one is this one four and two five it is a zero detector ic uh, it has uh, five terminals in which we are using uh, four one two and three and four these are the uh, numbers of it and uh, this is the rectifier bridge and this is the ac source and this is a triac and this is the ac load or lamp and this is the triac switching now we and this one is oscilloscope uh, and this is the arduino uno and uh, this is the variable uh, variable uh, from which we vary or uh, from we uh, from how much we require the uh, brightness of this uh, AC lamp or we can also use here an AC motor to control its speed so but if the speed we require then we will give it through this uh, variable potentiometer so now I will uh, explain each component how it will work now this is the AC source which will supply um, 240 or 230 or 220 voltages and uh, and this is the ac load and uh, this is a ac voltmeter which will tell the voltages across this 100 watt ac lamp now we will understand how we vary the magnitude of the ac voltages so it is little bit uh, harder to control the ac voltages um, rather than a uh, dc voltages because an uh, ac voltages are alternative so here we require to to detect zero crossing in the ac alternating waveform to to make firing and uh, to make firing on the triac to control its magnitude of the ac waveform so that's why we require this uh, this configuration in the first step we will uh, connect two resistors uh, of 47 kilo ohm it will it will step down this ac voltage magnitude and then it will convert uh, it uh, it will rectify this rectifier bridge will rectify the ac alternating waveform to uh, to uh, one sided waveform like a full bridge uh, rectifier wave it will look like uh, like this one so then we can easily uh, detect the zero crossing from there so this will convert it uh, rectify uh, rectify it in the full wave and uh, then it will further step down through 10k resistor and then we will trigger this zero detector and now we will understand how the zero detector work whenever the whenever the high uh, positive voltages or positive waveform comes here then uh, it will it will this uh, this uh, diode will becomes on this is not a simple diode it is a it is a an LED which emits the light which uh, 
emits the infrared light to to uh, to emit the infrared light and this is the phototransistor which will uh, work when the light falls on this transistor then it makes the circuit so this is the base and this base is uh, in front of this uh, uh, light which is emits from this diode so so then this will make and then we will detect it through pin number two of the Arduino to detect the uh, zero crossing whenever we detect the zero crossing then we will apply an, a signal to the to the this triax switching uh, IC which is MOC 3021 and now here we are using the same configuration like here but it is a there is a transistor and there is a triac so this is the just difference and this is the photo triac uh, the working principle is same and uh, here we are we are connecting this uh, switching switching track to this main track which is which will vary the magnitude of the AC waveform so then we have control this the AC voltages this is the main track so then uh, whenever the signals come here this signal will be called as a firing single uh, signal and it will trigger this um, triac and it will vary the magnitude of the AC uh, according to be required and uh, now I will zoom it to easily you can see the components name these are the components you can see it now here i will tell you that this is a variable potentiometer from which we can control the uh, speed or brightness of the lamp and this here you can also use other controllers like esp32 or any other microcontroller which is compatible to your project and this uh, signal you may control from the cloud are from your mobile phones these uh, uh, this system is mostly used in the uh, automation systems like internet of things are uh, where we required uh, to control the um, uh, voltages of ac uh, from remotely and this is the oscilloscope we will later on check the waveforms uh, from different points first waveform will be from the from this uh, zero detector uh, ic optocoupler and second b1 b is it means blue one blue waveform will be from after this uh, bridge rectifier and uh, see it means red red one waveform will be from this uh, which signal we have given to the this track and the uh, in the green one d is the main ac waveform which is directly uh, from the source uh, from uh, not from the source but uh, uh, at the ac lamp our AC load so now I we will go to the programming part to see its program this is the program which I have written so you can subscribe my channel for more videos uh, on electrical electronics and the internet of things and you can explore other uh, other videos related to automation 
or electrical engineering or electronics for on my channel and uh, one thing i have to say that if you have not familiar to include this arduino in the proteus then i have also make a video on my i have uploaded on my channel you can see and i have uh, given the link in the that video's description from where you can download the different types of libraries of the um, of, of the proteus so now i will go to the programming part so first we will define the um, try a try a pulse pin it is 3 and then i am defining a dimming variable to 128 then this is the variable sensor value and this is the setup function in which i am using a zero analog zero pin as an input from which we i am giving the input and this is the it is the pin mode which will tells the pins how we want to use that pin this a0 pin is used as an input we are giving input to the on this pin and this uh, this pin is from which from where uh, we are required to get the signal so that's why we um, define the mode of that pin as output and these are the reading i am value from what we are given and uh, this is the dimming uh, we'll calculate it and then we'll attach the interrupt to that pin and uh, now this is the this is the my uh, program uh, this is a small function which will tell the which will do the dimming process if this function is mainly do the uh, variation in the AC waveform after every 10 microseconds it is supplying a trigger signal which is called firing signal on the trial so then you have to select the board here so go to the tools and then go to board and uh, here I am using Arduino you uh, know select it and uh, then go to file references and then select this compile and compile uh, one and upload one then ok why we are why we select it because we want to get the hex file so that's why we select now I will verify it it will generate a hex file after creating the hex file then copy this hex file location where it is saved i copied it now go to the simulation and here double click on the arduino uno and then say go to the program file and control v press the control v it means space that uh, that uh, address here and then click ok now run this simulation from clicking on this button when you have clicked it will run it and it will open automatically the this uh, digital oscilloscope and uh, now you can analyze analyze the these waveforms on difference now this is the uh, yellow and then is the blue and then is red and then is green now green is off so whenever we want the green then click on it now it is green is also showing green is simple the the voltage level at the AC lamp or AC load I will just click on the off now right click on it and go to window size and click to 2x 
then it will make it bigger click ok then stop the simulation and then again run it now the oscilloscope becomes larger you can analyze it you can scroll it to see the waveforms behavior here you can also analyze that the, this is the trigger signal which is triggering the signal at the zero point so if from here you can also change the uh, change the the value of the waveform uh, from here you can uh, you can rearrange the waveforms like that window one one okay I will again run it now you can see this is the 225 volt so if I reduce the that voltage from here this is the potentiometer we are giving it signal to the microcontroller at a zero analog pin and according to that it is uh, dimming the AC lamp here it is now 80 to 84 voltages now oh, I want to reduce it further means you can control the the magnitude of the AC it is something delaying in the process of this system because of uh, the speed of the, the CPU load it is it is so slow so if this is uh, somehow increased then this um, this will be uh, good to show the simulation so it may be some problem here but here now you can see this is working correctly if you understand of uh, this video then like it and if you have any query or any question related to this project then let me know in the comment section i will try my best to answer your query and uh, also subscribe my channel thank you